Viewers, in the first part of the show, you just heard some bold predictions from K. Anamalai, the BJP's general officer commanding in Tamil Nadu, so to speak. In a sense, Anamalai's predictions are not very different from Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaram's own bold projection for the BJP in the state ahead of the Lok Sabha election. Let's listen to the Finance Minister talking about a historic breakout for the BJP in Tamil Nadu, at least that's how she sees it. Are you hopeful that the BJP will do better this time in South India? I mean, uh, how many seats do you see them getting out of 131 seats? It's difficult to talk about number of seats, but I'm sure but the efforts which are being made by Tamil Nadu BJP unit. So you're likely to open your account in these states like Tamil Nadu, Andhra we'll Pradesh? We certainly work for the people uh, and hope to have their Kerala. blessings. Tamil Nadu, you have a... You have no, a, whether it's Kerala, whether it's Tamil Nadu, lots of work is happening and people are responding as well. BJP is, of course, a beginner there. It's been there since the uh, Jansang days and it's gaining strength. We'll continue to work with the people. People are responding, says the FM, and she's confident that uh, the BJP will do well. Now, this is very much like what Mr. Annamalai told us. Here is his elaborate explanation for why people are responding and what he believes is going to be the big number. 2024 is an important inflection point. Inflection point. I'm not saying 2024 BJP is going to be number one. Of course, we are going to work towards the number one. But at this inflection point, we are going to cross that critical 18% vote share. That is very important for us. Uh, I think that will happen in 2024. So previously, there were a lot of falsities. Now, the party has also become aggressive in terms of debunking the false narrative. So naturally, I would say, yes, the expectations are quite high. And I am very confident we will cross that very important threshold magic figure of 18%. Only then, the party can graduate to the next level. He also said, of course, that the BJP's tally will be in double figures. Now, viewers, the question arises, can the BJP do what it did in Bengal in 2019 this year in Tamil Nadu, that is in 2024? Is the Prime Minister's investment in the state, the time he has spent, the manner in which he has leaned on Tamil heritage and protected it on the national stage going to pay off? Let's open this up, viewers. Let's get some answers to this. What do the experts feel? We have with us Dr. Suman C. Raman. He's also a cephologist, a keen political observer. We have with us veteran journalist Shekhar Ayer. And uh, viewers, we are also joined by a notable face from uh, Tamil Nadu who is known quite well as an astute observer of politics herself, YG Madhuvanti. Now, let me first begin with you, Mr. Shekhar Ayer. The BJP is quite confident that it is making headway. How do you see the BJP doing in Tamil Nadu? Do you first of all agree with the prospect of 18% vote share uh, for the party, which will obviously happen at the expense of other formations? And you know that if you get about 33% of the vote in Tamil Nadu, you can actually even form a government. So that is a pretty bold prediction to make, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, 18% does seem to, to all of us is a very tall order. But what Anamala is seeing is the kind of reception he has been getting. Now, today, Rahul, we are discussing the subject on a day. Actor Vijay has announced his foray into politics. Yeah, I'm going to yes, talk about that in, in, yeah, in now, just the second part of this conversation. Now, yeah. why, I, why I'm mentioning this is mm -hmm. because there is a vacuum in Tamil Nadu politics. Vacuum in the sense that an absence of an alternative model. A model that today actor Vijay sees, a model for which uh, Adna Malai has been, you know, uh, literally walking the path. He has been all across Tamil Nadu trying to tell what BJP is as per a mandate given by the Prime Minister, which is to explain what the BJP is. Because the whole problem in Tamil Nadu is, the BJP is seen through the what the mainstream media projects. And it has been traditionally against BJP, against the Prime Minister, against all things that they consider to be part of the Hindi world. So, Andamalaya has made a beginning and he has been getting traction. However, small, in small villages, people, because... He is also a non-cinematic background uh, player. You mm. see, Anamalai doesn't have a cinematic uh, background that he will people will just come to see him. 
अनलाइक से एक्टर विजय कुमार आई मीन एक्टर विजय और प्रीवियसली रजनीकांत और विजय कांत और द ग्रेट एम जी आर एंड और इवन कमल हासन ऑफकोर्स कमल हासन वॉज नॉट अ मास्क काइंड ऑफ एन एक्टर ही वॉज मोर ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द माइंड काइंड ऑफ एक्टर सो ही कुड नॉट डिपेंड मच ऑन इज एक्टिंग टू ड्रॉ क्राउड बट हियर इज अचुएशन वेर डेफिनेटली द बीजेपी इज फॉर अ लॉन्ग हॉल दे आर नॉट इवन लुकिंग एट आई वुड से ट्वेंटी फोर और ट्वेंटी सिक्स बट at least this time because of the situation caused by admk deciding to go it alone they are plowing a lonely furrow but a furrow can also turn into fertile ground later that's the belief actually the rank and file of the bjp is carrying today in tamil nadu that the future will be better okay uh, dr suman sir aman let me bring you into this conversation uh, let's not forget that uh, okay so let me let me actually get yg madhuvanti into this Uh, let's not forget that this time when the bjp goes in at least in 2024 in the next few months it will be mr modi on the ticket it's not just uh, another face he's a prime minister he's visible he obviously enjoys a huge credibility and there is really nobody else on the other side to match him at the national level does that become an added factor in the last elections we've seen that when the prime minister is on the ticket the bjp's vote share does go up by about 10 to 12% conservatively and in some cases even 15 to 17% uh, good evening rahul and uh, good evening to my fellow panelists good here good evening ma'am absolutely right uh, today the modi wave as you can call it is hitting tamil nadu like a tsunami you know from the days of saying go back modi to vanakkam modi and welcome modi Tamil Nadu is understanding the amount of hard work Modi ji is plumbing into this state and all the work of our state president Sri Annamalai is to basically go forward and explain to the people of Tamil Nadu as to what BJP is doing as in the various schemes that through which the people of Tamil Nadu have also benefited so 2024 is definitely going to see a paradigm shift on the ground and when anamalai ji says 18% he means what he says he means his business he is not going to you know uh, throw terms or throw percentages and numbers without having done his homework so there okay. is going to be a very very strong representation and a big change in 2024 itself which will help the 2026 elections for tamil nadu because that is when but can they do it without elections. an alliance that's the fundamental question can they do it without an alliance partner absolutely i am of the really very strong so? i am of the very strong belief because i worked in the booth level for the councilor elections here mm. in tamil nadu in mm. in uh, in chennai, chennai. and mm. we went alone mm. we went alone for the councilor elections and there are many places where we beat the admk and we came and there are many places where we have councillors of bjp the first ever councillor in west mambalam chennai is a woman madam uma anandan yeah. so we have done this we worked this so okay. i think if we keep uh, working this uh, method method right it is definitely going to uh, give results there's no okay. doubt about now, it now the state the state is once again crowded with hopefuls actor vijay has also jumped into the fray though he will not contest the 2024 elections he is eyeing the 2026 assembly elections he won't be the first star to float his own outfit of late uh, vijay kant ji kamal hasan have tried to emulate jay jayalalitha the great mgr but they've had mixed results will vijay be able to break the jinx let's get a perspective uh, dr suman si raman two things i want to quickly ask you uh, in the first part of this debate we were focusing on what mr annamalai told me he says 18% vote share number 1 for the bjp in 2024 and perhaps even double digit seats that's his projection the fm who gave an interview to our channel has also sort of said there's going to be a breakout moment for the bjp in tamil nadu so one how do you see those prospects number two most importantly what is the vijay vijay effect going to be uh, on the state going forward Uh, Rahul, first of all, uh, if somebody has told you BJP on its own is getting 18% and going to win double-digit number of seats, uh, I would seriously suggest uh, you know uh, that they need to be uh, uh, you know getting a reality check. I don't want to say anything more strong than that. The BJP is certainly not going to get double-digit seats, alliance or no alliance. I think even for Uh, you know, uh, uh, confidence uh, boosting. 
to say that you are going to get a double digit seats in tamil nadu now is i mean it's quite it's it's laughable i mean the, you've got okay. to be practical rahul you've got to understand yes the prime minister has put in a lot of effort and the bjp has made a determined push but they don't seem to understand this is not about hindutva this is about development okay. and in terms of development what has the bjp done or given to tamil nadu in the last year or year and a half okay. mr udayanidhi stalin carries a brick from the all india institute of medical sciences which remains unbuilt in madurai for the last 5 years not yeah. a single building has been put up okay uh, how do you see about? what development are we talking about okay. that I... the bjp has brought let them bring development to tamil nadu they will get votes automatically okay tamil nadu is not hindutva territory therefore This There are a number of schemes of- that okay. What well, I'm I'm not getting into that because obviously they haven't really had time in office there. Uh, they have been part of coalitions. Rahul, I, I agree. The central government schemes. I all understand. All the Institute of Medical Sciences. I, all I the Institute of Medical that. Sciences is I, to I, be built by the yes. centre. Yes, 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 Doctor Raman. No one's denying that. Even Annamalai was talking about the intent. Uh, and saying that look the prime minister will be on the ticket so perhaps that could be a factor we've seen it in other states that there is an acc- accretion of votes but just very quickly coming to you uh, what about vijay his entry how do you see his entry what do you make of it who needs to be worried i think uh, in fact i had put out a poll a few moments ago on uh, twitter uh, on x uh, rahul mm-hmm. and uh, you know in about tef 20 25 minutes it had over 5000 people voting which shows that there is a great deal of enthusiasm hmm. now vijay is a big star but vijay's uh, politics or whatever little we know of it at the moment is strongly linked to the dravidian uh, social justice platform in fact hmm. even in his letter launching the party today which was released he spoke about social justice he spoke about of course the usual anti corruption uh, uh, plank and all that yeah. but He is identified as a, not a great supporter of Hindutva politics. Okay. So, in that case, whose vote does he split? He ends up splitting the Dravidian party's vote. And there is mm. also a re- small regional party called the NTK, mm. which takes a lot of the uh, youngsters' votes. You know, between 18 and 30. Mm. So, he will end up taking that vote. He will mm. end up damaging the Dravidian parties, predominantly okay. the DMK, and which is why that. Shekhar Iyer. Yeah, it may be beneficial to the BJP. Okay, as you were saying that there is a yearning for a new face, Shekhar Iyer. You said there was a vacuum. Quite clearly, if you go by the anecdotal evidence that Dr. Raman is saying that so many people quickly latched on and tweeted, etc., etc., it shows that people are excited. They could even possibly excited about the BJP then, because really it's an outsider, isn't it? Yeah, uh, see, but uh, Vijay has been cultivating an image of a savior. You know, like okay. all the previous. Film actors who ventured into politics, you know, right. whether it is Rajini Kant, whether it is Vijay Kant, or even for the the beginner, the M. G. Ramachandran, they all had an image of a do good up, a kind of a Robin Hood image, depending on the roles they played. So Vijay has that kind of background where he has played the savior. Mm-hmm. But the challenge to him is, as uh, Dr. Subhash Raman said, you see, he is a threat to D. M. K. Right. Because D. M. K. is looking at the future politics under the leadership of Udayan Dhistali. Now, of course, today Uday Nidhi has heartily welcomed it. So has uh, Anna Malai. So has all the party leaders. That anybody is welcome to do service for the people. So that no Anna Malai did say in the interview that Vijay will be a big factor. So he has also sort yeah. of, you know, quickly come in and but acknowledge the, problem, the fact. Yes. Yeah, yes. but Rahul, one yeah. thing is, yeah. you know, he has to finally quit the film world. That's true. Before you can even, you know, he can start yeah. work because so long as he connect to the film world, I believe there are two more films. Uh, yes, to complete. Yeah. Till b- because the film world is dominated by the DMK people. Right. Right. The distribution, the production. Okay. So well, that's a very interesting of, point. So how many of because that is what prevented mm-hmm. Rajini Khan's entry. Right. Okay. He I've run out of time. Made, Thank you very much for making the time, viewers, and watching Crux of the Matter, the new show on the weekend.